you going to introduce yourself? My name is Brian Burt, Lyle's Barbershop. That sounds so official. <laughs> Why don't you show us around? Tell us where we are. We are in Portland, Oregon. We're in the North Tabor neighborhood, uh, Gleason and 60th. Uh, this is Lyle's Barbershop. We've been in business since 2017. Uh, we're your neighborhood barber. We're a two-chair barbershop, just Chris and I. And uh, What is that chair doing? Th these <laughs> chairs are waiting for two new barbers. We need barbers, so if you're a barber okay. thinking about moving to Portland, Oregon, <laughs> come at us but anyway this uh these chairs are ready for people uh, we did at one point last summer had four barbers for for um, for a month is that is that the actual year yeah this is the year 1962 wow. you could have a cigarette during your, your service back then and the, yeah and the, and the brown works. and the brown color is typical 60s yeah absolutely yeah no, this is a really comfortable chair too yeah um this is a good one so uh how long did you say you've we've been, been here since 2017. So what makes lyle's barbershop so special I, I definitely uh, consider us a traditional barbershop, and Portland, Oregon doesn't have many traditional barbershops. A lot of the barbershops are more salon, more modern style of uh, barbershop, but here people walk in and they feel, they get the biggest smile, they say, I've been looking for this type of shop for years. So, so what makes tradi what, what a makes traditional barbershop, to me, um, the smocks, you know, dressing sharp, uh, the shake of the hands before uh, COVID, the um, greeting people, you know, everybody feels uh, feels welcome at this barbershop. They're um, it's very bright, welcome, clean, sanitary, and we just we take pride in our work. That's why I put it on the wall. Pride produces quality work. When you take pride in your work, you're, it shows in your quality. You know, and the reason why people come in here it's our service um, is a big deal to me and um, all my barbers. I try to push that on them as well, like. They have so many options in this town. There's a lot of great barber shops or great places to get a haircut. So when they walk into Lyle's, we greet them right away. We shake their hands. We, you know, we're very personable. So I think that shows in pride with quality. So, I mean, the soul of the shop is? The soul of the shop is this neighborhood. Without them, we're nobody. So um, we, you know, without the customer, you're nobody. Without you, there's no us. So um, that, that's the soul is we, we understand that. So we take pride in, getting to know people's names, getting to remember, remember their haircuts, getting to remember um, pivotal things in their lives that they want to talk about when they're in the shop, that they feel comfortable talking to their barber about. A lot of guys won't talk to many people about things, but for some reason when they sit in the barber chair, they just open up, so we like that. They, you know, this is a third place, not just work, not home. This is like their third place, their clubhouse, the barber shop. So this is where they feel comfortable? Absolutely, yeah. We don't want anybody not feeling comfortable in here. <laughs> Um, what are your three favorite things? Right now it would be my plants. I've really taken pride in my plants. Chris okay. laughs at me. Uh, these are, uh, I've been really excited I, 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 I about these. Because when I got all these, they were babies, you know. So it's just really neat to see these been growing really well. <laughs> uh, that's one. I'm, I'm glad to, I thought they were plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, every week I, I take them outside and let them breathe. It's, it's fun, yeah. Second favorite thing in the barbershop would probably be the picture of Lyle, because I just grew up. I've seen this photo since I was a little kid. Like, um, so this photo is always on the that's wall. A, that's a classic, isn't it? That's like yeah. Hollywood. Very, very. And uh, the great thing about the, the picture as well is the cigarette's not even lit. It was a prop for the photo. And he's your... Uh... My mother's father. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lyle Lawbaugh. And this is his wife, Linda. She passed last year. That's her in the Jersey Shore when she was like 19 years old or 18 years old. Is that where they met? Uh, they actually they met in uh, yeah in, in Trenton, New Jersey. Yep. Is is this Lyle a legitimate child? <laughs> yes, Mr. David Bowie, Elvis, yeah, the, and then Lyle. So people always get so him confused. What, what's so special about Lyle? Uh, he mean, was just, why, why did you name the shop after Lyle? Well, a few reasons. I wanted an old-timey name, and uh, you don't hear the name Lyle much anymore. I'm a sucker for the curse of L, um, so that's why my first shop I named Lefties. Lyles, I, I think it was a Laverne and Shirley type thing I liked as a kid, so um, I love that. Um, old timey name, and then I wanted to, he was always dressed impeccable, gave me a lot of life lessons, uh, just a great human being, so I wanted to pay homage, and that's why I named it Lyles. Third thing, favorite thing in the shop would probably be, third thing in the barber shop that I, I really like would probably be this straight razor up here. Um, was given to me when I was in barber college by one of my friends as a tattoo artist. And um, one of the other reasons I got into barbering, I loved straight razors be before I became a barber. It was just like, in the tattoo world, a straight razor is just something you always saw. So 
when I got that as a present, I, so I guess that's probably the third thing. And it's kind of cool because it's the smallest things people don't, people really notice that, but that's been with me like, since I was in Barber College. So what do you like the most about barbering? The most I like about barbering is the connection I make with each client and barber actually that I work with. Uh, you leave here as a friend, not just another customer, you know, uh, as not just this shop, but most barber shops. So that one thing I like is a, uh, the, um, the bond between the barber and the patron is probably my favorite part about being a barber. Even better. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. We'll see you next Have time. Fun. Have a good day. Yeah.